Wow, 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 wow. There was a guy named Urkel. Glasses, two times the width of his face, checkered shirt, candy apple red suspenders. And he wanted a girl named Laura. Um, but Laura couldn't see. He was as bright as an active galactic nuclei. Who am I? His whole soul shine like one of those embers. He didn't believe he could get Laura though. So he ended up creating the liquid plastic surgery. And when he started to drink, his whole body started to shake like he was in the blender. Do you remember? Well, that's why I came here tonight. Some of y'all are dating and talking to people that's like Laura. Well, you shouldn't be dating and talking to people that's like Myra. Myra came on the show and said, Urkel, Urkel, you don't need a liquid. You don't need a machine. You don't need to use your brain that was given to you by God to be in the lab to do the math to quadruple and triple your cool genes. She said, I, I, I love you for who you are. Snorting, snorting while you're laughing, big behind glasses and high water jeans. Well, I thought I would come here today to remind somebody in this room to be themselves, but the way y'all looking at me, I don't know if y'all feeling me. Well, there was a show called Girlfriends. Now, if y'all remember Girlfriends, there was this girl named Tony. Tony is that girl that comes from the hood but swears she was raised in Malibu. Her insecurities can eat the proteins from her toenails all the way up to her hair follicles. I wish I had a projector, a PowerPoint presentation to put her on a poetic module. Tony thought it was a good idea to get Botox. And for her face, that was unfortunate. You, you, you see, Botox is a normal toxin. Shots went to her forehead, made her eyebrows go up like a roller coaster. Hey. Made her whole face look disproportionate. <laughs> well, some of y'all looking at me weird, but I want y'all to go on something called E Network. There's this show called Botch, um, where women are cutting and slicing themselves up, putting silicones in certain slots. <clears throat> but I learned something from Marvel. There's this character called Dr. Strange, where women in the room. You can't Dr. Strange your body, you can't Dr. Strange your mind, this means you cannot manipulate hours and milliseconds when it comes to the human clock. But I thought I would come here today to remind somebody in this room to beat themselves, but the way y'all looking at me, I don't know if y'all feeling me. Well, there was this show called Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and Will and Carl are trying to join this fraternity. There's this frat brother though. Jealousy starts to eat the meat of his soul like salmonella. They had Carlton on the floor with rags and toothbrushes like he was a black bearded Cinderella, but his work ethic was impeccable. The way he carried himself, it was way past stellar. But when y'all watched the episode, look at the people that was looking at them. They were court in the jam. You see, it was the first time they saw a black man arguing with a black man about being black. And they didn't understand. But Carlton did. He says, it's the way I dress. He says, the way I look. He said, I'm not trying to be black. Black is what I am, which means no devil, no Jesus, no angel could ever walk my journey. No hood, no poetic venue. Make sure y'all tell every high school senior in America today not to change themselves to no goddamn fraternity. Well, I thought I would come to this room today to remind somebody in this room to be themselves. But the way they look at me, Lois, I don't know if they feeling me. Well, there was this girl named King Michelle. I was in my bed, I was on my right side, comfortable on my left side, crusting my left eyes, I scrolled down the right side, and I saw King Michelle. She says, um, I thought by getting a bigger butt, I would get bigger love. Let me say this again, y'all. See, I was in my bed, I was on my right side, the comfortable on my left side, crusting my left eyes, I scrolled down the right side, and I saw Kate Michelle on the rail. She says, I thought by getting a bigger butt, I would get bigger love. She says, I got my butt done, my teeth done, my, my, my hips done. She says, her whole body is starting to ache. She thought that she had lupus. Well, that's what some of you guys are doing. Not really loving for who you are deep down inside, but trying to be on Facebook and Instagram, trying to be the cutest. Well, I thought I would come here today to remind somebody in this room to be themselves. But the way y'all looking at me, I hope after this poem, you start to feel me. Thank you. My name is Elvis. <laughs>